So I got sent a pretty interesting product to review um, today. I just got it and I thought I'd unbox it for you. Um, this is called the Wave Tooth. It's the first waterproof Bluetooth headset. Basically, it's a, um, it's a kit to allow you to potentially um, listen to your music while you're in the pool. This is quite an interesting package. So it comes with a mono earphone to, uh, to have phone conversations, a stereo headphone if you want to listen to music, a USB cable for charging, a waterproof bag for sealing your phone in it, and a neck wire. So this is what's in the box. The packaging is not great, but if it does what it's supposed to do, I think it's, it's pretty cool. So I guess your phone will go into this bag and you can strap it around your arm. And uh, this is the interesting thing. You can listen to these headphones while you're underwater. Okay. This is the Bluetooth piece. Let's have a look. It's pretty cool. So the, the ends here are, are sealed. So it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, let's see what the depth is. Three meters. That's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to go ahead and, and pair it together. So let me go to my settings, click on Bluetooth, and turn it on. And then on the on the headset instructions as is to um, press and hold the on button until the blue light comes on. Okay, here we go. So both lights are flashing. So uh, here it is. So the blue, the BFU dash Z appears. So I click on that and hopefully it will pair. Great. So now it says it's connected. Um, so let me pull out this. So I'm going to plug the headphone into the jack. And go back to my music. Click play. See if that works. So here we go. So this music now is streaming through Bluetooth into the headphones. And as I said earlier, it's the sound quality is pretty damn cool. So let's see. The volume controls work. I can use the controls to skip forward or skip back. So um, everything works as advertised. Uh, as a, so far, what I can see is that as a standalone Bluetooth set, it's it's pretty damn good. Okay, so now for the big test, and that's to see whether this sucker works underwater. Okay, so I'm about to prepare for the first water test, and this is the bag that it comes with. As you can see, there's a it's a sealed section here and then another one up here. So you, in, you put your iPhone into the bag and then you wrap it around and seal it. Okay, so that's meant to be a waterproof bag. Good thing about it is that the controls still work. So you can still access your iPod. And this, um, the audio from this iPod is going to be transferred via Bluetooth to this waterproof headset. Okay. So now that we've set up, let's take it to the pool. So what do I like? 
I have a lot of Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth headsets, and the sound quality of this is probably the best, uh, even compared to my old um, Motorola S9 headset. So sound quality, uh, it's a winner. I like the fact that you can pair it to the iPad and the iPhone simultaneously, and if the phone rings, it will automatically switch from the iPad to the iPhone to phone call mode so that you can pick up the call and chat. The things I don't like is the fact that the bag is kind of flimsy, and this strap is a bit tight for my arm. Um, the range underwater is limited, so you, you pretty much have to attach the, the re Bluetooth receiver pretty much close to the phone if you're underwater. So the other complaint I had was when I was using it underwater, the length of the cord is just not nearly long enough if the transmitter has to be right next to the phone. But that's a relatively small gripe. I have a feeling I'll be using this headset a lot a lot more um, in dry land rather than in the water but the waterproof option is a welcome bonus so that's the wave tooth waterproof bluetooth headset you can uh, find out where to purchase it in the description of this video